What's up everyone, Doyler here and it is day 82 and the series finale for the Race to E5 account. So, the account will be given away tomorrow morning, so be sure to click that link in the description if you want to be entered into the giveaway. So, gonna finish up a full Imps adventure on this account for some footage. Already completed shelter. I'll leave Grey Dwarf's Blessing up to the winner. Already bought winter supplies and then we'll hop into Aspen and finish that off. I think that's about it for this account before I give it away. In the end, it'll have an E5 Flora, a 8-star Heart Watcher, 7-star Norma, and that's 6-star DS. The Flora does have uh, 34 imprints, so she is moving right along. Um, definitely could be V1 pretty soon, which would help a ton. Um, sea Land's still at 10 for now, but you could definitely push it further soon. So let's hop right into Imp's Adventure, see if I could get some good luck and maybe get you a chest before... Uh, yeah, before you push for your second E5. Could be a Flora. There's already one copy. <laughs> Alright, we're upgrading our huts. And we got a lucky dice. Let's go. Good start so far. Double? Alright, we'll take double stars. Doesn't hurt. Uh-oh. Alright, that's fine. We'll go right back to the lucky hut. Move it along. Double? Nice, we upgraded our last Mushroom Hut. That's a huge upgrade. That is the hardest one to upgrade. Keep getting that Karma Hut, but we are getting lucky with it. One? No, five's even better. High roll, plus we get the upgrade. Uh, some low ones, not ideal. Man, Karma Hut constantly. All right, that's not great. Come on. Go for another lucky dice. Nah. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of this series. I'm still not sure if I'm going to join the Christmas free-to-play series with Barry and MK yet. Um, it I was looking forward to finally being rid of five accounts, but we'll see. I know some of you guys have been asking for it. I do still have the Horus free-to-play account, so it's not like I'm done with free-to-play content in general. I just It would be nice to not have so many accounts, although a new account obviously wouldn't be in the void quite yet, so it's a little less to do every day. How are we doing so far? Already at 89, not too bad. And still a few days left. It would be nice to get this last hut upgraded though. It is kinda hurting. Ah man, still missed it. At least we got the early lucky dice and the early this hut upgraded. Come on, two. Still no luck, come on game. Ah, ah we'll take a six. Give us a one. Nope. Just no luck here. <laughs> Alright, so maybe not going to get the two on your chest on this account free to play. Things aren't looking great for us yet. We'll take a three though. Currently rocking a solid 141 though, so we've got a good shot. Uh, I'm not going to check the simulator. Um, be sure to check the description. I will include a link to my Imps Adventure guide. Um, it's been really popular and it's helped a ton of you out. There we go. So hopefully, come on, that's, that's not terrible. We'll take it. Um, so yeah, hopefully it's able to help you guys out. Um, yeah, I spent a lot of time on it. May try and translate it into other languages even, which would be really cool um, in talks to do that. So let's take our six. We'll roll the last dice for today. We still got two days worth of dice left. Sitting at 174, so we should be fine to get that chest, which could get you another Flora, Tix, Rogan, or whoever. So, done with Imp's Adventure, let's collect our initial rewards. Anything we can use right now? Uh, we'll open the Elite Shards. Other than that, nothing too interesting. Yeah, we'll save the 6-star chest for the winner. Ah, uh, Thakwa, kinda cool. Uh, again, saving the shards for Christmas. Um, I think we're done with Broken Spaces still, yeah. So let's hop right back into Aspen. So gonna run the level 324. Six! Got some spirit, nice. Flora, full six star gear, kiss of ghost, holy attack HP. I'd love holy attack attack, but we can roll a few times for it. There we go. Alright, I think this will be better on her. She'll do a little more damage. We're gonna keep 22322 and the void enables. And let's see if we can push from Hell 50 to Death 1. We almost did it in our first attempt last time. So Hell 51, our record is Hell 96. 
So close. Let's buy up some stuff for gold. We don't need gems anymore since we finished Imp's Adventure. So we can buy a few heroic scrolls. Um, Spirit is especially important since we are uh, trying to finish up the 345 Flora. And yeah, I mean, if the winner of the account wants to spend money, that'd be great. Um, if you do build a second floor, I'd love to hop back on the account, but let's see how we do. I'll show off the first few battles, and then we'll get skipping. Uh, as you can see, Heart Watcher, not much of a problem for our girl. And she's doing even more damage now. Quad Wave will be fun to show off, too. She'll get two basics. Oh, no, she gets an active. Never mind. All right. So, eight DPs. I think we're finding it's a Vessa. I want to watch this. I know we can handle 430 Vessa Gru, I think was what we did last time. Yeah, so even a solo wave she can outdamage, which is huge. Because um, this is a wave that gives characters like Horse a lot of trouble. Um, so yeah, she might kill her before 15. Oh, the Twine. Nice. Alright, let's get skipping. Can we get to death one with the Flora? Would be awesome to have that data point. Plus a great way to finish off the series. She absolutely stomps quad waves, which is great. She lost to a sleepless wave last time, so I am going to have to be alert to those. Also concerned about some of the forest waves, although I may not need to be. Um, we'll watch this one just to see how she fares with the round one active. I'm guessing she'll kill two things. Yep, and Rosa will go down with her second basic. Nice and easy. Back to skipping. So I know some dark waves with sleepless. I I honestly didn't click on it last time. I don't know if it was a sleepless mim wave or the um the like sleepless DA whatever wave there is in hell. Other than that, I don't know what Flora has to be scared of in hell, especially now that she has the holy attack attack stone. Although that wave was a little dicey. Um, starting at hell 50 means we have a lot more potions. That was an issue last time though. Although, if she keeps getting these energy refills, <laughs> it'll be even easier. Hell 70, moving right along. Alright, so, she has full energy, so I'm not going to use a DP, but this is likely one of the scary waves for her. I'm guessing this is what she lost to last time. But with energy, it looks like it should be a breeze. So, okay, we're going to need energy for that wave, I'm thinking. So, we will DP if we see that wave again. Um, we'll heal up before this wave, and I'll show it off, but... Ah, we'll skip it. I know she can handle it. Um, so yeah, the Sleepless DA wave. I think we can handle this without energy. I think it's the other one that's uh, an issue. Because yet... Yeah. Nope, that one is an issue too. Ah, oh, man, feels bad. So, both of the Dark Waves look problematic for an E5 Flora, but with DPs, she can easily handle them. Um... We'll do one more seal land attempt for the video, just to try out the upgraded flora. Um, I think I'm liking Gru Flora. Let's see if the extra damage can help her take out the boss. I don't think it will. I think she's going to need a little more support or pet upgrades. So here comes the act. Um, we'll do one more. Um, the boss got an active earlier than we'd like. Um, we want him to get around two active so that we can get our Rogan actives and our Heart Watcher actives off. So that one won't count. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ah, oh, man, we need the backline heroes to survive. I know they can. I think we're just getting some bad um, energy and active RNG. As long as the backline heroes get their actives off, then we'll, we'll wrap it, see if it works. There we go. All right, so Flora takes out one, almost two heroes. Oh. She may not be able to live. All right, so we'll call it there. I think she'll be able to clear this more, but as you can see, the monster is still um, barely starting the HP runes. Um, but yeah, so that's going to wrap up the Race to E5 series. Again, this account will be given away tomorrow morning, so be sure to enter that. Um, and yeah, this was a fun series. I enjoyed it. 69 days to an E5 is incredible, um, and I'm looking forward to maybe doing it again in the future. So be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to help me get to 2500. Probably early next year, not going to get it this year, but I'll catch you guys tomorrow.